Hey, hey, NBA 2K My League fans, back with another My League, My Career of Power Forward Justin Denman. Going to give you an update on how he has been doing. He set a career high in one game. I'll tell you what category here in just a second. And also another interesting thing happened, and I'm going to share that with you too. So, if you're new to the channel, I am Coach 2K. Uh, while you're here, hit that subscribe button, click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single episode of this series, my fictional My League series, or other NBA 2K video I might put out. I'll put a link or two up into this corner of the video. You see the Kings there, Denman had 12 points and 16 rebounds as uh, they got beat by the Kings. And next up were the Knicks, where he scored 5 points and 12 rebounds. Had a tougher time scoring in that game. Porzingis uh, did a pretty good job in that game, too. Next up were the Rockets, where the Pacers got destroyed. But Damon had 12 points, 17 rebounds. And he also had a block, which uh, I thought was a pretty cool block. And I've got a highlight clip of the block here. You can see they go in, and he comes from the weak side, and he blocks the shot. So that was a fun block. The Rockets were tough. Next up were the Minnesota Timberwolves. This was some action in the first quarter. I think he had six to eight rebounds in the first quarter as uh, Kuzmangas occasionally would get away from him on defense. Denman's got to work on his defense, but you see him working hard on the offensive glass. And there he's getting beat back, but he got the block. And the Pacers will play pretty, play pretty well against Minnesota. Off the backs of Denman here in the first half, especially with his rebounding effort. Got us out in the open court. Old Depot got a three. And here, Old Depot gets ripped. And But Denman's hustling, comes back, he gets the miss. He gets us out on the break. And Oladipo is going to get another corner three out of it. So, a great shot there. Good rebound. Trying to set some screens. And he finds himself inside. We've been trying to figure out how to finish inside. Sometimes it's a little tougher. Just depends on the team that we're playing. Uh, how easy it is for him to score. Seems like it's a little bit easier to score out of the pick and roll. Here he gets fouled. So, going to see him at the free throw line. Knock down one, knock down two. And there he was sagging off his guy, got lucky. A lot of these fours are stretched forwards. It's tough for him to get out there and cover him, and he, he didn't have a jump shot. So, he's a little easier to guard. And so, nice play here as he slips the pick and roll, scores inside. And there he gets beat on on the other end of the floor by Kuzmengus. So overall, some good highlights. Even though we got to work on his defense, he's been playing, I think, really well, really well against the T Wolves. He had 16 points and a career high, 19 rebounds. I was trying to get 20 rebounds. I wanted to get a 20 rebound game. Oh, we were really close, but we just couldn't quite get there. Now, big development here, out west against the Jazz, Jerebko elbows him in, knocks him down, and so he is laying on the floor in pain, and I'm like, oh, what, what did he hurt? <laughs> he's out there, looks like he's grabbing his knee, I have no idea what's going on with him. They don't have any trainers out there, no one goes out to check on him. It's kind of up to the players to tell him just to <laughs> walk it off, buddy. This is the NBA. In the end, though, he'd only have eight points and four rebounds as the size of the Jazz were difficult for him to get rebounds. And so after the game, we had to check on his injury status to see exactly what happened to him. And he has a collapsed lung. And it's going to be out for two to four weeks, which is huge because he's been playing so well and 
he was taking the spot of TJ Leaf, who also had a high ankle sprain and was going to be out for two to four weeks. So I expect TJ Leaf will come back before him. And so he's going to miss a lot of December, be back uh, Christmas Eve or so, and we'll have to see if he's going to be able to get back in the lineup. It was tough to get in the lineup, if you recall from the last video. I mean, he didn't play the first 12 games. He says he's going to be working hard to come back on social media to let his fans know that uh, he's going to be working his butt off to get healthy, get back out and available for playtime on the floor. So let's hope so. He's leading the team in rebounding 11.4 points a game, which uh, he's also leading... Uh, not just the team, but all rookies in the league. He's probably one of the top rebounders in the league, too. He's also averaging a double-double, 12.1 points a game, 11.4 boards a game. He's had 17 rebounds, 19 rebounds, so he's had some pretty big rebound games. Pacers, though, meanwhile, been stinking up the floor. They are struggling as a team, so Pacers got to get better. And in the meantime, we'll see if we can get him recovered and get back on the court soon. I am Coach 2K. I'll see you on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.